Welcome back guys. I've got something that I want to show you. Just take a little look over here right now. I was looking at this and I was thinking to myself, all right, if we, uh, if we, I don't know, like, there was one, uh, yeah, I, I think I was looking at it like this. I was looking at it like this and I was thinking to myself, this, this Cobra loop here, wouldn't it be cool if we could somehow kind of move it so that it actually looped through the gatehouse? Like, would that be a cool idea? So that's what I did. So now it looks like this. Oh my God. <laughs> it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Camera, come on, behave. Uh, it is epic going through there. Trust me, because I have ridden this ride. Oh my God. I must have ridden this ride like a hundred times because once I did that, I embarked on a, like a long tinkering session. Oh, by the way, the castle, I decided the castle needed a crest. So I put a crest on the, uh, on the gatehouse, which is just, uh, let me show you uh, very quickly, uh, which is just these, uh, uh, which ones are they? Oh, it's these, the, um, the, the fascia. I just, I just put four of those, just like so one, one up and one down and then, and then two on the sides. Just glued them together and stuck the uh, stuck that this little freeze on whichever we are, which is in decorations. Uh, so yeah, so did that. So I did that, and then uh, yeah, I spent about I don't know, like about eight hours just tinkering about with stuff. Uh, and I'll show you kind of like the, the results of it. So if we go uh, like up here, the top section I've completely reworked um, this this top section up here. Uh, and I've done a hell of a lot of work on the coaster in terms of improving like the ride speed and stuff. So here we go, look, you can see. And then it's going to go into this double loop. Oh, hanging loop. And then into the second one. Yeah, we're not going to follow that all the way around. And then like down here in this area, before it just kind of like went through that area like way too fast and it was coming into the Cobra loop too fast. So I thought, well, yeah, you know, let's put some stuff in. So I put in a double bat wing and it is epic. I mean, seriously epic. I, I can't tell you how much fun that is. Um, but I spent a lot of time getting the speed like absolutely right. So when when you come through this um, this loop, you come up to the top here. I've actually put some brakes in here um, just to control the speed so that it's perfect going through these bat wings and then into the cobra loop. And then, funnily enough, um, I started working on this um, on this bit over here with the with the pirate ships. Because um, before you were just going through a loop, uh, a loop up here, and you couldn't really see anything or whatever, and it was way too fast. So I've reworked it, and now you do like a complete circuit of the pirate galleons, and then come through here. Um, I've still got to, I've still got to put this um, little kind of entrancey thing here, so that and get and fill in this this bit of water, so that it's um, it's completely completely nice. But um, but yeah, we'll do that. Um, and then this final section over here um, it comes through here really nice and smoothly and I've moved the Kraken so that now the Kraken roars like right at the track as you go in by so you're going almost through the Kraken's mouth and the speed through the um, through, through the little dark section uh, which is over here um, I adjusted this so the, the coaster almost comes to a stop here and then you have, oh, here you go, you'll see it. The coaster almost comes to a stop here. And then just has a gentle run down past the Kraken. And then goes quite slowly through this, um, through this cave section. So you can really appreciate the, all the skeletons and the cannons and all the rest of it. And then, so you can see it, it really takes its time getting through there. 
before emerging and then going through the uh, through the galleon section. So there you go. Um, what else did I do? Did some work on uh, moving the, on, on on getting this operational and getting rid of the the other uh, hammer swing that was over here, and I put some paths in, and I hooked all the paths up internally, and this you gotta love, you gotta love, because it goes through a, a little arch that I put in here. If I can get here, it goes through this little archway. And then there's a network of, uh, of paths inside this central structure, which means that people can get all the way from the top to the bottom now. If we go in here, you'll see. Look, we've got a whole... Whoop, whoa, 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 come on, camera. We've got a whole network of paths going up and down here. Now, funnily enough, this I've looked in here several times, and every time I've looked before, there's been people in here. And of course, the one time I show you guys, there's no people. There's usually three or four groups of people wandering around up here. Um, but it does mean that people can now get to... Oh, look, there's... Oh, look. Here's, oh, look, here's a kid. He's off to go and get yourself a chief beef. And you, you often see like groups of people walking up and down here. I'm quite, I'm, I'm amazed that there's nobody in there at the moment. It's quite staggering. Where is everybody? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, and we'll see. We'll see. Are, are people wandering in there? Loads of people wandering around. Let's, let's speed you up. Oh look! There, oh look! There's some people going in for a walk. They're gonna have a walk down to the bottom. Anybody else going to go in? What about down the bottom? Anybody coming along the uh, on the path on this side? It's all hooked up on this side. Redid uh, redid a lot of this. Yeah, nobody nobody going into the castle this side at the moment. But like I said, you do see them wandering around. It's it's very cool. Here we go. There they go, wandering down the path. Uh, but we need, we've only got like one chief beef there. We need, uh, we need shops, a lot more shops all over the place. Uh, I wonder if those people getting off the ride, any of them, any of you going to go have a wander through the castle? Oh, oh, we just had one guy walk up. No, no, they're all off to the next ride. Okay, fair enough. Right, so, um, so yeah, so that's the changes that I made. Let's, let's slow that down. In fact, let's pause it. Um, so yeah, those are the, the kind of the big changes that I made. I, I did lots of like tiny little tinkering bits, which um, and like the whole thing took so long that I didn't think it was really worth putting together a, a time lapse. I thought I'd just talk you through it. Right, what are we going to do next? Well, I, th I thought we'd take a little break from uh, Minas Tirith and do something a little bit different. And I've got this idea with um, some octagonal buildings, which could be a bit of fun. Now, I've noticed with the, um, with the people, basically the game is adding 200 people for each ride that you add. So I've got all 13 rides at the moment. I took out the, uh, the Roctopus that's in the cave to reduce the number of people. Because to be honest, when you get up to about 3,000 people, uh, my PC starts to get like the frame rate just gets like too bad. So what I'm gonna do, I think we're gonna maybe space things out a little bit. So um, I'm probably gonna move this, uh, this what's, what the hell is this called? I can't remember, oh, the Magic 12. I'm, I think I'm gonna move the Magic 12 maybe a little bit further over here. And I'm gonna move this ride completely. So the Aeronauts, um, that's moving. We're going to move you, and we're going to put you over here. All right? I think we can just, you know, we can just about fit it on there. So let's have, let's have the aeronauts there. Okay, and then we're gonna, we're gonna kind of finish this top area off. But like, do you remember I said that I wanted to make this area kind of a little, eh, a little feature, a little mall? And I was thinking of having the. Um, the the statue but we've put uh, we've put king coaster over there although he is actually going to move a little bit we're um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna redevelop this area and we're gonna have i think two octagonal buildings and we're gonna have like a fountain in the center and then gardens and all the rest of it <sighs> let's do it
Okay, so there's nothing too wildly spectacular about these buildings yet, but um, but we're not done because what's what's awesome goes on the top of these buildings. Oh yeah, and I'm just looking at these, and whilst yeah, whilst I don't mind them, I d I think we can maybe finish that a little bit better if we um, if we just give it a little bit more thought. I'm just wondering if we popped. Uh, oh, edit the building, bonehead. Uh, if if we just popped roof mouldings. Ah, that's nice. There, yeah, that works. That works. Boom. Oh, that's that's much nicer. That's much nicer. Cool. Excellent. I did, well, did the same on the other one, and now we can put the um, the crowning glory on these buildings, and it, they're going to be different. Uh, so let's finish this one. I'm, I'm excited for this now because <laughs> I haven't actually seen it. Uh, edit it. I always forget to edit the buildings. Right, so that there. Oh, come on, come. On. Oh, one quite. There we go, and spin it around. Plop, and there you go. No, you won't. There we go. Right. So there's a couple of things I've been wanting to use from the scenery for like, like right since the beginning of the game. And I haven't been able to. Uh, oh, and it's not in the scenery. It's in the buildings. Oh, it is in the buildings. How about that? Okay. It's in decorations. Uh, no, it's not. Well, it must be. No, it, it's in signs. It is in scenery. It's in signs. A couple of things I've been wanting to use. So, so this one is, uh, is a cosmic cow, right? So this is where you come to get your milkshake. Well, the problem is that, like, if you're walking around the park, I mean, you might miss the fact that you've got this milkshake place here. So let's make it really, really freaking obvious. <laughs> so let's put a huge milkshake on the top of here. Now, which way around? I think we're going to have it, like, there. Like that. And we want to just centre that plop. <laughs> oh... Are we done? No, we're not done. Of course we're not done. It's not it's nowhere near garish enough. Come on. <laughs> is that garish enough? Hell yes it is. Love it. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, that's that is absolutely perfect. Right, next. Next, 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 next. Well, this is a chief beef. So we can't put a milkshake sign on top. So what are we going to put on top? Yes, we're going to put a burger on top. Oh, man, my keyboard's going crazy. Behave, keyboard. Right. So let's get a burger stuck on the top of here. So what do you want on your burger? Well, let's see. I think we want some uh, basic burger. Yeah. Now let's have the patty on the bottom. I, I like the patty on the bottom of my burgers. So, uh, and again, probably top down is going to give us a better result so let's have that about there it's pretty heavy on the mayo isn't it and uh, then we'll top it with some uh, bacon and cheese as you do god that's making me hungry just looking at that and then we top it off with a nice sesame seed bun Awesome. <laughs> that is pretty freaking staggering, isn't it? Right. Well, we need uh, we need a bit of chief beef advertising now. Uh, how are we going to do the chief beef? Now, see, this one kind of works with putting the, the cosmic cow signs around the middle. I don't think this one... See, if you put the chief beef signs... Like round the outside. I don't think it works so well. Ah, oh, now how? Oh, I think I got. The, I think I got the solution. How about we put on top the chief beef statue? Yes, that's the solution. There we go. <laughs> that is absolutely freaking awesome. Right. Okay. So um, we've got that now. The thing is. There's no seating in the game yet, but um, I'd kind of like to have a seating area. So I've got this idea 
for having some seating and actually creating some seating and uh, and then have some kind of ornamental gardens around here but i'm thinking we actually this this circle i'm thinking that might get changed into a square um let's see
So there we go. There's our ornamental gardens. Let's take this off um, off pause. And uh, you know what? I'm going to speed it up. And hopefully we'll get some uh, some people wandering into this area and using it. A uh, couple, of, couple of little things to do. Just to kind of finish this whole thing off. And we'll have a, a, a quick look. Um, so we'll hook that path up. Now I'm not going to worry about this area over here for now. Because um, that's a different area. We'll uh, we'll do that later. God, my frame rate is suffering when I run this on fast. But we got people coming down here. There's various people coming from different directions. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a bunch of people going to the next right. They've just come off here, and they've got like, ah, I want to go on to something else. Oh, look, there's there's people wandering around. There's Oh, there's somebody getting a chief beef over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Loving it. Right. Um, again, couple of couple of things. Couple of things we've got to put in. Let's go to uh, props, and we've got to put one of the. Now that's the large one. We want the small one. Yeah. So I want to flip that around and pop that in. That alignment's good, actually. That can just go there. Yep, that's good. And then we're going to want another one into this area. So that's going to be there. And that, well, dear, that's going to have to be um, sunk down a little bit, I think. Let's try that again. So we want it there, but sunk into the ground. Uh, man, that's got to go all the way down to like there. Jeez. Oh, yeah, and that'll do. I might end up moving, like, moving this path slightly to move this across a little bit. Oh, all these people are coming into the area, into our little ornamental gardens. You know what, there's, uh, there's, there's plenty of people, let's, let's slow it down to normal speed. Now, if I, if I press F while, uh, while I'm in... Look like not in anything else. Somebody said it takes you to first person cam mode. Well, apparently they were lying. <laughs> Let's have a look. There's nothing that tells you. Nah. I, don't, I think they were talking nonsense. Okay, whatever. But this is um this is quite a pretty little area. Now obviously these these things are designed these are benches designed for giants to sit on. But um it kind of gives at least the feel of it. You've got these pretty flower beds. Loving that. Loving that. Yeah, generally, I'm very pleased with this. Love these buildings. Love the advertising. The burger and shakes. Yeah, that's pretty damn peachy. Alrighty, so... Um, yeah, what are we going to do in the next episode? There are a bunch of things. Now, the um, the coaster, I'll I'll do a separate vi ride video, like I did, like the, I did the Skyfall video. I'll do a Skyfall Mark II, and I'll give you a like full ride on this, the whole thing. But I don't think I'm going to do that until I finish like this li last little bit down here. And I want to kind of see if there's any other changes because I don't want to end up making like six videos riding the same coaster, that kind of. Is it wouldn't be cool. Uh, what have we got to do? We've got to finish Minas Tirath, which um, I, I think we can do now, like, pretty easily. Because um, it's just a case of finishing this, this, this front part off. And, it like, the basic structure is there. Um, we've got to do the red coaster. Now, the red coaster is going to be a dive coaster. So, the coaster's going to come... Off the end of here. I, th I think he's going to get moved. The red coaster is going to come off the end of here. And it's going to be a vertical drop down here. Now some people have said you can't have vertical drops. Well let me tell you. Yes you can. And I'll show you how to do that when we, uh, when we do that. Uh, what else have we got? Now I have discovered something very staggeringly cool guys. I've discovered how to make stone columns right so so like like you can make towers like these but they're they're made of stone 
and they look staggering. So um, I am toying with the idea of doing a, a completely separate video showing me building the Parthenon, which is like an immense project. But um, yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. But I'm also thinking that like once I've done that, I might do a version of it, like a, sl like a smaller version of it, like maybe up here on this cliff. Can you imagine a big Greek temple up on that cliff? How cool would that look? I want your ideas. I want your feedback. I want your thoughts and your opinions. Let me know. Leave me a comment. And I'll catch you for the next one, guys. I hope you're loving this because I, I cannot get a freaking enough of this game. Catch you for the next one. Peace out.